Hey ladies, what's going on? It's your girl Katrina and I am back with another vlog date video. So as you can tell by the title, I am 33 weeks pregnant. Yes, I am officially doing our 33 week vlog date video. I haven't done a video since I was 28 weeks pregnant and now we are 33 weeks. That is a very long, long time. So, uh, it's so much to fill you guys in on. Um, so I'm just going, it's gonna be a very long video. Not really long, but it's gonna be somewhat of a video extended. So I, I'm trying to poof my hair up. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so 33 weeks and counting and um, let me just gather my notes. So we are eight months pregnant and I'm starting to really feel like um, time is moving really quickly. Um, it says that uh, the eighth month starts between weeks 32 and 35. What else? The baby is tipping a scale of four pounds but we went to our appointment on Monday. Today is the 16th and we went to our OBGYN appointment on Monday and that was the 14th. And the, the doctor said that baby T is um, five pounds. So I'm not even gonna go by what the book is really saying. Right now, the baby is practicing the skills needed to survive outside of the womb. Swallowing, breathing, kicking, kicking, of course, yes, sucking. And we know that um, she's been sucking her thumb and her toes. So that's pretty cool. Um, baby T is no longer translucent. So her skin is, you know, the fat is accumulating under her skin, which is really great. Um, so yeah. So at 33 weeks, um, baby T is gaining a half a pound a week. So yes, she's five pounds now. So by the end of the week, she'll be five and a half. Next week, she'll be six and so on and so forth. Um, as the weeks go on, baby T will be doubling in size. The amniotic fluid has maxed out at this point. There is no room for her or any more fluid. Okay, so physically, I'm feeling stronger fetal movement, which is, I thank God for. Increase of vaginal discharge has been an issue for me, and I'm gonna talk about that a little more. Constipation, of course, heartburn. Um, I had a headache the other night. I'm getting leg cramps, like Charlie Hoy says. Um, maybe like once or twice a week. And so, you know, I've been dealing with that. And I've just been feeling a lot of pressure down below, um, a lot of um, lightning crotch. And so that has been an issue. My navel is still protruding out. Um, my stomach has been very itchy and my hemorrhoids has subsided only because I changed, I stopped eating a lot of spicy. So we are eight months pregnant and I'm starting to really feel like um, time is moving really quickly. Um, even more so because I'll tell you guys further in a video. But um, it says that uh, the eighth month starts between weeks 32 and 35. What else? The baby is tipping a scale of four pounds, but we went to our appointment on Monday. Today is the 16th and we went to our OBGYN appointment on Monday and that was the 14th. And the, the doctor said that baby T is um, five pounds. So I'm not even gonna go by what the book is really saying. Um, Right now, 
The baby is practicing the skills needed to survive outside of the womb. Swallowing, breathing, kicking, kicking, of course, yes. Sucking, and we know that um, she's been sucking her thumb and her toes, so that's pretty cool. Um, baby T is no longer translucent, so her skin is, you know, the fat is accumulating under her skin, which is really great. Um, so yeah. So at 33 weeks, um, baby T is gaining a half a pound a week. So yes, she is five pounds now. So by the end of the week, she'll be five and a half. Next week, she'll be six and so on and so forth. Um, as the weeks go on, baby T will be doubling in size. The amniotic fluid has maxed out at this point. There is no room for her or any more fluid. Um, so yeah, uh, physically I'm feeling a little more exhausted than usual. I am also, um, I'm feeling tired. I'm feeling very moody. Um, very sensitive and, and wanted to cry. Um, okay, so physically, I'm feeling stronger, feet are moving, which is, I thank God for. Um, increase of vaginal discharge has been an issue for me, and I'm gonna talk about that a little more. Constipation, of course, heartburn. Um, I had a headache the other night. I'm getting leg cramps, like Charlie Horse says, um, maybe like once or twice a week. And so, you know, I've been dealing with that. And I've just been feeling a lot of pressure down below, um, a lot of um, lightning crotch. And so that has been an issue. And um, yeah, my navel is still protruding out. Um, my stomach has been very itchy and my hemorrhoids has subsided only because I changed, I stopped eating a lot of spicy. I had to limit my spicy. Uh, I'm having a, I'm still having a hard time sleeping. And um, once I get comfortable, I don't want to get up. So I try to get as many snacks in. I try to go to the bathroom as many times. And then I, it takes me about a half an hour to really get settled in the bed. And once we're in the bed, that's it. I'm knocked out till maybe uh, two in the morning, which I've noticed we haven't been getting up as frequent. Um, and I say us, we, because she's in me and she controls my life. But um, I haven't been getting up to go to the bathroom as often. Uh, I was on this two o'clock cycle for about a month. And now it's now going to four o'clock. So that's pretty good and I can basically go straight back to sleep. Usually it takes me a while, like maybe a few hours to go back to sleep because of the insomnia, but um, it's, I've, been, I've been going back to sleep normally. Um, I've been having Braxton Hicks and I told this to my OB doctor. I'm sorry, I gotta fix my hair. I, I, made, I mentioned this to my OB when we went for our appointment and he was just basically saying that it's, it's typical. My body, oh, that's the dryer. My body is just um, preparing naturally for what's to come. So Braxton Hicks is normal, but I should be increasing my water intake as well. Notice that my boobs are getting fuller and they're getting much more sensitive. So I have to wear a bra throughout the day, which I do, but even at night, I'm noticing that I feel a little bit more comfortable when I do wear my sports bra. So I've been doing that and I've noticed that um, it doesn't hurt as much. So 
starting from November, we'll be going every week. So yes, um, time is truly ticking and I can't believe that um, we're in this, this phase right now in our pregnancy. Okay, I was experiencing um, a lot of fluid, uh, watery discharge, like it was a lot. We're almost to the point where I felt like, like amniotic fluid was leaking. So when I went for my appointment, um, the doctor examined me and he checked my cervix and it was closed. He also um, did like this test with the strip and if it turned dark blue, that means that it was a sign of amniotic fluid. But um, thank God there was no dark blue. It did not turn dark blue. Everything was fine. It's just my natural, um, my natural juices, I guess, um, that's um, protecting my uterus, protecting the baby. So I'm just producing watery discharge. And he said that that's pretty much okay and that's normal, it's fine. My body's doing what it has to do to um, throughout this pregnancy. I was telling him about the cramping that I've been experiencing. And he was um, basically saying that it is Braxton Hicks, but the fact that I'm having like contractions similar to a period, um, he was a little concerned about that. So he um, gave us a ultrasound appointment that very day. Um, it wasn't necessary, but he wanted, he, he gave me the option. He was like, would you like to have a sonogram done? And I was like, absolutely. So, we, he did it stat, and as soon as we left our appointment, um, we went to, and um, she just, I mean, preliminary uh, evaluations. I, my number one concern was the amniotic fluid, making sure that baby T had enough and she wasn't in distress or anything like that. I noticed that she gets very, very, like, worked up, like, she'd be like, whoa, in there, and, so it was just alarming and the fact that I'm on the internet and the internet is a devil, I swear to God, Google, WebMD, even the damn what to expect when expecting app is horrible. So it said that when a baby is doing extra fetal movement, they may be in distress. So the doctor was basically saying, you know, he kind of like relieved my concern. He said that is inevitable if the baby does get wrapped up in the umbilical cord. It's the umbilical cord can stretch a very long amount, but he said that you know he's never in his 30 years he's never had an issue with delivery and with hearing the mom saying, Oh, it was a lot of fetal movement. Um, I was concerned, I was concerned, and the baby came out tangled. He said that it's never he's never heard that, so you know, to just not think the worst or whatever. So when we went for the uh, sonogram and we saw a baby T, I was just making sure that amniotic fluid was fine. She was not tangled up. She was not tangled up in no umbilical cord and she was just having a good old time. So we got two pictures of her and her little juicy little lips. And um, it was the cutest thing. She she had her foot by her toe. She was stuck in her toe, but her hands were really close to her face, so it was so cute. And um, everything was fine. Um, she was measuring. This is another issue, another topic that I want to talk about as well. Um, she was measuring fine. The tech had asked, "When is our due date?" So I did mention it to her, and you know, like I was kind of like, "Why do you ask?" or whatever so um i didn't act i didn't go in because i was just letting her finish um the sonogram so that she can send it over to the doctor to make sure that everything was okay and we were in the clear and everything was good so when i got up from because I, I had to have a full bladder so when she was done i got up she left the room and my, you know tiffany was like babe Babe. And I'm like, what? And she was like, you won't believe it. And I'm like, what? And then she was like, look at the screen. So I look at the screen and it basically said that everything, all the um, 
the things that they look for, the, the brain, the, it's, it's like a breakdown. Um, I'll put a little, a little picture of what I'm talking about in the clip, but, um, Baby T was measuring 35, four days, 35, two days, 35, three days. So the average, when we looked up the calculation on the average of what to expect, like when she's going to deliver, when she's going to possibly be here, it was saying like in five weeks. Because if she's measuring three, 35 weeks right now and we're only 33 weeks, um, then that's a problem. So she's two weeks ahead. Um, and yeah, I, I feel, I honestly, and I, you know, the doctor also um, confirmed it. I feel like she's going to be a very big baby compared to Tyler. Tyler, we went in earlier and he was 8.6, um, 8 pounds, 6 ounces. And so the doctor was just saying that. Um, when I, we went for our 28 week appointment, he was saying, I was like, you know, what do you think our, her weight is gonna be? And he said, usually the second baby is the biggest. Um, so he is, uh, you know, he's gonna monitor that as we go on. So being that I feel like she's gonna be big, I feel big, I feel like she's like big. I, I do. I I honestly feel that way. And so when we saw those, when we saw that she was um, measuring two weeks ahead, it kind of confirmed it. So when we go to our appointment in two weeks, we will, you know, have this discussion with the doctor to see what's his take and if you know he really does go by this. But he basically was saying a woman knows her body. And if you feel a certain way, then we just have to stick with that and, you know, go with that because that's the the number one concern. A woman knows her body. So I've been telling Tiffany for the longest that I think that this baby is going to come in November. I do not think that baby T is going to come in December. She's going to come healthy and strong um, in November and we'll see. I've just been feeling like I have to prepare. I know it's nesting, but it's nesting 2.9, like 3.0, like 5.6, like 10.10. .10. Like I want to wash, get the room fi figured out and situated, hang whatever pictures we gotta do. Um, you know, just finish up because I just feel like after the baby shower, she could come anytime. And being that we saw what we saw on the screen, it kind of makes me feel even more like, let's go. So we have the crib, we have the changing table, um, we have the dresser, potential dresser. Um, I picked up this dresser on Wayfair. It's not what I thought it was going to be. No, 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 no. So I'm going to go to Ashley Furniture. I'm going to check out furniture stores and um, see if we can get a bigger dresser because this is very tiny. It's tiny. Um, we have clothes. We don't have like kimonos or anything like that. Like I said, we are um, nine days away from our baby shower. So it really doesn't make any sense to buy anything as of yet. Um, only because we want to see what we're going to get. Whatever we don't get, um, that's, we'll just head out and go buy. But it doesn't make sense having like multiple things of the same thing. Um, so that's what we're basically going to do. And we don't know how big she's going to be. So I don't want to get a lot of newborn things. I'm gonna get probably like zero to three months, but I don't want to get zero to And once she grows out of it and she's too chunky to fit into it, then we will go and buy things or whatever. But for the most part, my mom bought some really cute, adorable pieces. Mom picked out whew, a few things, but um, for the most part, I think that we are somewhat ready mentally. I'm not. 
I'm um, nervous and anxious. Uh, so my mom picked out this happy little love. And this is cute. It comes with this onesie. And then it comes with these adorable little plates. How cute is that? Oh, so when we went to the appointment, the sonogram appointment, Tyler came with us a second time. The first time Tiffany was like, oh, can we confirm? Cause the tech said, oh, do you guys know what you're having? And we were like, yeah. And then I was like, she better be what she still is. You know, so Tiffany was like, oh, well, um, can you check to see or whatever? So she was in a really good position to, for the tech to see. And you saw all of her lady parts, okay? So, so the second time when we went, Tyler was like, oh, um, uh, what if this is a boy? What if it turns into a boy? So we were like, so the tech started laughing. We're like, really? We are eight months in, bro. You know, like, but at the same time, Tiffany was double checking. It's so funny. Um, because we buying all this pink stuff. Can you imagine? Girl. So my mom bought this. It's a nice little sleeper from Carter's. I didn't put anything on hangers as of yet. I'm waiting. Grateful, thankful, loved. And um, this is organic cotton. And this is six to nine months. So yeah. And look how cute is that? Six to nine months, it'll be summertime, but I have the receipt I can exchange. And how cute is this? How cute is this outfit? And it comes with a little headband. Super cute. I'm not gonna go through everything, but how cute is this? She's gonna be so warm this winter. I love, 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 love this. I love it, absolutely. I wish that it has the um, the hand things or whatever to protect. Oh my boy, a whole bunch of stuff. I love this outfit. This is um, Jessica Simpson. Now all of this is from Marshalls. This is a three to six month. And I wish that it had the hand things too. Cause this is pretty, it, it looks like it's, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty big. But it comes with this hat. Look at that. Not a hat, what's it called? I forgot what it's called. What kind of, it's a beanie. I don't know what it is, but it's so cute. Um, She bought hooded towels. She bought blankets, washcloths. And the list goes on and on. So I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed so much. Everyone who has watched from the very beginning till now, I really appreciate it. It is like so surreal that um, I get constant comments, constant um, encouragement, prayers. Like you guys are awesome and amazing. If you're not following me on Instagram, please do so now. I'm gonna put my platform, um, my social media platform in the description below. And I know a few people kind of ask if I have a registry. I do have a registry. I'm gonna put that in every video. I have the registry information in the description below. And I mean, you're not, you don't have to, you're not obligated to buy anything by all means, just putting it out there. But I do know that some of my family members, AKA subscribers, they have been from day one and they also want to buy something. So I really appreciate anyone who wants to shower baby tea with some love because um, you don't, you don't understand how much it means to me and it shows that you guys are really rocking with your girl and I love it. Let me show you guys the bump.
So that concludes my bump date video, my 33 week bump date video. We are eight months in. <laughs> so I'm excited. Uh, you ladies have no idea how excited I am. Um, I just want to like squeeze your and kiss your real up and just mm, 35 weeks. So from 35 weeks on to our delivery, I will be having videos every week. Um, I've been putting little videos out as well. So if you have not checked out any of the videos, please do so now. Thank you so much for watching. I will see y'all in a few weeks. Picky baby dust to all of my TTC sisters. I love you guys for watching and I'll see y'all in our next Buffy video.